Hello friends, myself Gaurav Patak and today we consider the subject engineering thermodynamics in which we see the basic of second law of thermodynamics. So friends, the law help us and tell us about the various things in engineering thermodynamics. First we consider the heat reservoir. A heat reservoir is the sufficiently large system in the stable equilibrium to which and forms finite amount of heat can be transferred without any change into the temperature. Now for the heat of reservoir, the heat source is required and the high temperature heat reservoir from which heat is transferred is sometimes called heat source. Now this heat in can be stored or captured by sink and at the low temperature heat reservoir to which heat is transferred is called heat sink. As we see the system is the machine or the body which, re which receives a heat and rejects a heat producing in the network is vice versa. For taking the consideration we can Take here the example of heat engine. A heat engine is the device which produces the useful work by absorbing the heat. The flow M high temperature reservoir and reject this waste heat to the low temperature reservoir. So by assuming Carnot efficiency cycle, the reversible engines run in the cycle between the reservoirs of the two fixed temperature and have the same thermal efficiency. All real engines are irreversible for irreversible engines running in the cycle between the reservoir and two fixed temperature. The thermal efficiency is mentioned as the given equation. Now exactly taking the point of refrigerator as in the heat engine it produces the heat while as a refrigerator See friends, we have to calculate, if we have to uh, take one substance to be cool, then we have to nothing do but extract the heat that per from that particular substance. A refrigerator is a device which operates in the cycle maintained in the temperature of the body, which is lower than the temperature of the sub surrounding and the coefficient of performance is COP will be given. That is coefficient of performance. Now if we consider the heat pump, a heat pump is the device which operates in the cycle that maintains the temperature of the body higher to the temperature of the surrounding. The coefficient of performance can be given by the ratio of total heat to the net weight work done. Now from all this we can consider the statement of the second law for the thermodynamics that is from Kelvin Planck statement, he says that it is impossible to construct the heat engine which produces no effect other than the extraction of heat from the single source and the production of the equivalent amount of work. By relating to this, the Clausius statement can be say that it is impossible to construct the device which is opening operating in the cycle to transfer the heat from the cold body to hot body without any work input. By, develop, by proving this statement, Carnot develops the theorem that is no heat engine operating in the cycle process between two fixed temperature and can be more efficient than the reversible engine operating between the same temperature limit. Also, Carnot gives the heat transfer cycle into different points be between pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram that is PV and TS. From point 1 to 2 the reversible isothermal heat addition of in the high temperature and from process 2 to 3 reversible adaptive expansion during the which the system does the work done. Into the point 3 to 4 the system is brought in contact with the heat reservoir and the reversible isothermal heat exchange takes place while the work 
compression is done on the system. At the same time, the end process that is from 0.4 to 1, the reversible adaptive compression between the increase the working fluid, the temperature from T1 to TH. Now at the same time, if we consider the reverse Carnot cycle, the process A to B, the absorption of heat by working of fluid refrigerator at the constant low temperature during the isothermal expansion. The isentropic compression of the working fluid with the end of extension work, the temperature for the particular rise from T2 to T1, which provides C to D, isothermal compression of the working fluid during which the heat is rejected at the constant high temperature. The isentropic expansion of the working fluid, the temperature of the working fluid from T1 to T2. The efficiency of the Carnot cycle can be calculated by using formula net work done to the total heat supplied and we can denote these things total heat with capital Q and total minimum low temperature at T. The inequality of closure statement is says that the mathematical explanation of the second law of ther thermodynamics also referred to the inequality of clauses that develops by clauses who intended that to explain the relationship between the heat flow in the system and the entropy of the system is surrounding. The clauses theorem states that for the system exchanging heat with the external reservoir and undergoing the cyclic process, it ultimately returns the system to its original state. This is all about the second law of thermodynamic friends. We will see the first law and third law of thermodynamics in another topic. Thank you. Thank you very much.